All right, all right. Yo, we got these two brothers, um, Captain Chataza. Hold on, let me unmute them. I probably just butcher. Yo, y'all good? We um, you, we laughing because you did butcher my name. You can hear us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, fellas? Hey, what's going on? So, yeah, so I'm uh, I'm Captain Katazad, the Israelite okay, School of Universal and Practical Knowledge. And then uh, joining me is Captain Azaria. For sure, for sure. Um, yo, Mac, what's these that? two guys, they were on Clubhouse. They had a Clubhouse room about you. Um, I'm going to play that clip shortly. Wack actually joined that conversation. Um, I think he was actually trying to reach you yesterday, Mac. What? Uh, who, Wack? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, I seen what he sent me, but I was uh, I was yeah, at yeah. the, I was at the memorial for the um, for the mass shooting in Ala, um, in Monterey Park. I saw that. I saw that. Um, yeah. So these two guys, they wanted to have a conversation with you, but I'm gonna play a short clip of their conversation with Wack, um, so that way you can get an understanding of where they're coming from, and their issue with what you said. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Go, go, go. Let me mute. Uh, let me mute you and mute you guys. Chat. Let me know if this audio is good because I'm playing this on my laptop. Uh, all right. Here we go. I'm playing the man. Yeah, because because I I'd love to talk about. He just said. What are you saying? Yeah, so a minute ago, a minute ago, right? He talking about race bait and X Y Z, and then saying. Oh, now this is about all of us being together. But on the interview that he played before, Alicia, what up? he was talking about how he got to put his people first. He so got to, he's Asian. I, okay, I got you, right? But peep game, right? So in one breath, now it's about just him and the Asians. But as soon as black people start to come together and say, well, hip hop is ours, now he's like, well, you're not about to treat me like a second class citizen. Well, which one is it? Well, you're American. It don't matter. He's Asian, when they was attacking Asians over there, he stood up for his people. They was getting off on the old Asians and shit like that a couple of years ago. You know, he's solid from New York and he be round. He been to the penitentiary and did all that. You can't take none of that from me, bro. Just okay. can't do it. I'm not. I'm not about to turn around. First of all, I don't are know you what, saying Asians can't rap? I don't know. I don't know what the penitentiary got to do with nothing. Right? I'm this, saying, this, like, no, this is what I like say. His whole movement. You want to hear? You want? You want to hear what I'm trying to say? You in New York? Yeah, for sure. Because, you know, cops might can come holler at you. I mean, We're anybody can holler like at me, bro. I ain't, I ain't never been hard to find, right? Uh, but, like, look, this is the fact, though. I'm just saying, <laughs> look, bro. I'm just keeping it real. I know you. I'm, 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 I'm about to say, y'all act like I ain't on 100. I'm just keeping it 100. I know. I, I got you. I got you. Y'all act like I ain't on 125th Street every week. Okay, all right. Well, I'm just telling you, bro, bro. One thing you should do, brother to brother, is acknowledge the fact. That dude definitely does not look like us. And it's definitely, as you know, being from New York, because I know not being from New York, but understanding New York, it's definitely a whole nother culture in that lower Manhattan that definitely follows and does whatever you say do. So if it ain't really an issue, me personally, you saying you be at the corner of 100 Woo to Woo, that just ain't smart because he ain't no square, bro. Like, he he play our game. That's what he does do. He yes, respect on cool, all right? that, though, bro. Yo, listen, right. that's cool, but this is the point, though, right? The point is, our people need to learn the lesson that China Mac learned. And the lesson that he learned, that even though he came up around black folks, even though you saying that, oh, he in the mix, he on the block, he not a square, right? Yeah. He still turned back to his people when they, were in, trouble, when they were in need. You're supposed to, right? Yeah. So here's the thing, though. We supposed to, too. We wouldn't respect him if he didn't. Okay, but you're not hearing what I'm saying. Take it off him for a second. Where's no, the you can't his name in the title. No, I can because I'm using to be him like as a... to... All right, so basically, um, Wack was defending you, Mac, against these guys who kind of feel like you don't really have a place in hip-hop. Now, fellas, Mac, oh, shit, oh, my God, hold on, hold on. Let me unmute you guys, unmute, unmute. All right, yo. It, it was these brothers that was talking to Wack, right? I yes. believe so, yes. What's that? Oh, okay. All right, peace. All right, so um, please keep the discourse civil. Um, nothing hostile. Please, no threats. I just want you guys to have a conversation. Um, and, yeah, let's let's um, hash this out.
You, you what's wanna, up? You, what's going on? You want to respond or what's happening? I no, mean, no, 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 no. You guys, <laughs> you guys talk first. Um, explain to Mac what your issue is, and then we can kind of go from there. All right. So I don't really think that it was um it was an issue directly with you per se as far as you know what I'm saying the individual right so we had seen um the clips that Math Hoffa put up I seen what Hassan Campbell had put up the dialogue that you had with him also Math's um response to you right but what had happened was while we having the dialogue the point is I don't have no issue with you being a part of rap or hip hop I think that's a major misconception I think that the problem is is that it's delusional to think that it's not a black art form. You know what I'm saying? When I say black, I mean, you understand, blacks, Latinos, Native Indians collectively. That's who we identify with as our people. So to turn around, what I'm saying is, is that what Hassan said when he said that you were a guest in hip hop, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have an issue with you or any race of people turning around and making hip hop. I have an issue with the entitlement. Because we couldn't go to China, speak Mandarin, and you understand, and take over and feel entitled to whatever genre was created over there. We couldn't do it over with the East Indians and Punjabi and all that. So I think they were misconstruing that because the main thing is you're supposed to support your people. You're supposed to like, like even the fact that you said you, um, you went to the memorial, that was commendable. You're supposed to go out there and support anytime, just like we do. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for example, Cap, where, where, where was it in Brooklyn? Uh, the, the that you were talking about with the nail salon with Doggy Diamonds yeah, last Doggy night. Diamonds, I think it was, a Chinese, it was a Chinese nail salon. It was a Chinese nail salon where a sister was attacked. Right. And what happened is, is that we showed up with Doggy Diamonds and other, you understand, media outlets, and we stood for our people. Because whenever there's an attack, you're supposed to stand with your own people. I think the issue that we were having, which I don't, I think WAC came in late to the conversation, was we were saying that, they do it. Why don't we? Why don't we become galvanized? You understand? Yo, yo, Bees, you can pull up one second. Yo, um, I'm I'm at my house right now, right? And I just want to show you something. Pull up over here real quick, bro. This man just comes in the house whenever he wants. This is my brother. What's up? Say what's up to the chat. All right. Go on, that's, bro. All, that's all that's all I want to show. So 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 um um, I, well, well, here's the thing, right? I I relate more with black people than Asian people. I have more black friends than I have Asian friends. I'm with more black people daily, on a daily, regular basis than I am with Asian people. Now, when it comes to stepping up for my people, right? These are the same people that also, they don't even, they don't really accept me. You know what I'm saying? Because of whatever you know, whatever, um, whatever lifestyle I have chosen to live, you know what I'm saying? Or because I don't have a, a great education at a prestigious school, because I'm not a doctor or a lawyer or whatever, because I've chosen hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've been looked at a certain way by my own people, you know? Now, when you say that I step up for my people, Right. I do step up for my people. And like Wack 100 say, I'm supposed to. But let me tell you this. I don't just step up for for Asian people. When 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 I came home on parole. Right. I came home from doing 10 years on parole. Um, Eric Gardner, he had an issue in Staten Island. I went there. I stood. I stood. Uh, uh, I, I fought back. I went to uh, Freddie Gray. I went to Baltimore. And this is before BLM, before that big whole thing. Everybody wants to be cool looking like, you know, I went to, I was on parole. I went to Baltimore and stood and almost got into a fight with police over Freddie Gray. Right. With these issues, I don't see black. I see, I see the oppression. I see oppression that I face too because police took teeth out of my mouth. You know what I'm saying? They beat the shit out of me. They handcuffed me, hogtied me, put a stick in between the, the 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 handcuffs, dragged me from point A to point B, beating me with with nightsticks. You know what I'm saying? Beating me with with uh with walkie talkies. You know what I mean? And right next to me, you know who else was next to me? A black man. You know what I'm saying? We both was 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 pig tied and dragged to to the receiving room. You know what I'm saying? So. 
these issues, I, I don't, I, 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 of course, I got to stand up for my people because I don't feel like enough people stand up for Asian people. Asian people are just taught to be a little more docile, a little more quiet, a little more whatever, right? And I just feel like, you know, I feel like that somebody has to speak up for them. Somebody has to, you know what I mean? And these are my people. So I wouldn't be a man if I didn't speak up for my people. But I don't only just speak up for Asian people. When there was a, a, a big, I do this all the time. Every month, let me tell you this. Every month I go to, I fly back to New York and I go with my brother, I Bill. And I go talk at Lincoln Hall. All black kids and Latino kids. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one white kid, maybe one Asian kid. But all black and, and and Latino, and I go in. I I give my time. I bring rap. I bring rappers. I brought Lola Brooks there. I brought uh, Ron Suno there. I brought Fabio Foreign there. Like I I do this out of my own to give back to the people. I don't look at race. I don't look at oh these people are black or these kids are black. These kids are. Uh, I just look at these kids are a part of the same system are being oppressed by the same system that I was once oppressed from because I've been in the system since I was 12 years old. So, and when I was in the system, yes, I was the only Asian kid, but I was treated the same. You know what I mean? We was all fed Ritalin. We was all fucking just like incubators for prison. You know what I'm saying? So I was a part of that. So when you say these things, it's like, it just doesn't make sense to me because I don't, I don't, I don't, that's not what I see. You know what I'm saying? Like I, when there was a fire in the Bronx, uh, uh, when a bunch of African, uh, when there was a fire in the Bronx, I went there with my brothers that I was all locked up with. We we got five trucks of clothing, food, whatever, and brought it over there to the brothers and sisters over there in the Bronx. I do that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not doing it because I'm trying to look cool. I'm not doing it because I'm trying to fit in. I'm not doing it because I'm trying to whatever, post it on Instagram. I'm doing it because, you know, I know what it, I, I come from that struggle. I relate to that struggle. I relate to the people. You know what I'm saying? So when you say that, I just don't think it applies to me. No, listen, listen, I got you, but. And, and like I said, I didn't have no issue with you standing up for your people. I said before whack got in the room, you're supposed to. And and the acts that you're talking about, they are commendable. There's a couple of things, though, right? One, when you turn around and say that Asians aren't protected, I mean, y'all got a crime bill passed in three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've seen more black and Hispanics murdered on film and camera than I've seen, you understand, ISIS terrorist videos cutting heads off. You understand, like, like, like from Ricardo Diaz, Corinne Gaines, or you understand, even like you said, Eric Garner. Listen, I'm from Staten Island. You understand that happened. You understand up the block from where I live. So y'all got not only did y'all get the crime bill paid, but on Delta Airlines, when the Asian gets choked out, he got a twenty million dollar settlement before court even hit. You go and you look at what happened with a Kai Gurley. Your community came together and was galvanized with so much strength that you overturned a guilty verdict that a brother who was murdered because the Asian community said we will not be scapegoats. White police murder black people all the time. I don't know. They don't even see what the big deal is. So when you turn around and feel as though may, maybe your community doesn't have the, the, the wild reputation that the ghetto has, maybe there isn't as much propaganda for them being criminals and so on and so forth. But y'all are protected because there is no crime bill to protect, you understand, blacks, Latinos and native Indians inside of America. We die and then there is no guilty verdict. There is no indictment. People get sent home. And that's why you have speaking of Freddie Gray. Freddie Gray's mother tried to kill herself. Did she get a settlement? Yes. But did she get justice? No. And you understand And All I'm saying is for the people that we identify with, blacks, Latinos and native Indians, we want that as well. So I commend you for standing up for your people. You understand? And I believe that as somebody who has been influenced by black culture, by somebody who has been influenced by hip hop and from somebody who's been catapulted to the position you're in because of that upbringing, I think you should give back to that community. You understand? I, I, and I think that if we had, were actually gatekeepers, we would be able to make it mandatory, but we can't. So we have to just worry about another nation's generosity like your own, because really y'all have all the power. We don't we don't have, you understand, our own communities anymore. 
You understand? Seneca Village was destroyed. Va Paradise Valley, Detroit, destroyed. You understand? Our communities in shambles, we don't have infrastructure. But in every major metropolitan city, y'all have an Asian center. You understand? That's And I guarantee you that wherever you went for this for 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 um the memorial, you understand, was at an Asian center. It was Asian-owned, Asian faces everywhere. So I don't have a problem with it. All I'm saying is we want that for our people as well. Right. Um. All right. I mean, okay, I get it. But here's the thing, man. Like, Asian people don't hold power in this country. You know what I mean? We're, we're not the oppressors, bro. Like, I, I hear all that. I hear all the energy and I hear all the animosity. But it's directed to the wrong people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we get whatever you're saying we got, right? But who gave it to us? We didn't get it ourselves. Are we the ones in the in, in those offices or the courtrooms or whatever the fuck? Are we those people that are passing these laws and shit? No, we're not. So let me just explain this to you, right? I've been in prison before, right? And there's only one way that 200 guards can control 3,000 inmates. And that's separatism. You make you you give you you make honor block. You know what I'm saying? Hey, these guys are more important than these guys. You know what I'm saying? So you know, but it's at the end of the day, they don't have the key. You know what I mean? So it's the this key holder that actually says, "Oh, you guys are the honor block. You guys do better, so you guys get a stove and TV at night." You know what I'm saying? But everybody still has to lock in at nine o'clock. You know what I mean? And and the, and, the, and the blue, the people in blue are the only ones that get to lock the door and get to walk out. But because there's the separatism, it makes it like, oh, we're better than you and you're better than us and da, 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 da. But in actuality, we're all the same. We're all still in the same prison. You understand what I'm saying? So I get what you're saying and I get the, 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 the frustration, but I think it's just, you, you, it's at the wrong people like you know what i'm saying like 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 okay we have these centers we have whatever but you know you you can't take away the um the 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 work that the asian people has come and brought over here they bust their ass they worked they you know what i mean like all these years they've been living in fucking uh, uh 12 people living in one apartment working at a restaurant you know what i mean they sacrifice for that you know what i'm saying so i get what you're saying but you can't take away their sacrifice and you can't take away like you know the the other stuff you know what i mean so they sacrifice for whatever they have and i do understand the black people's plight and i do understand that the black people has been stripped of their culture their language and everything so they're like set like hundreds of years behind you understand what i'm saying so i understand that but you can't blame that you can't blame us for it like the the asian people are not the key holders bro like hey, we're hey. not oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry i thought i thought you were landing there go ahead bro i'm sorry right, i landed i landed okay no sweat and just, just so you know right i might speak a little passionately i don't i don't have no direct you know what i'm saying beef or qualm with you bro you know what i'm saying and and even when it comes down to it the initial statement that you said is right. I mean, you from New York. I'm sure you're familiar with the Israelites. We say our oppressor is the devil and our oppressor is the white man. You know what I'm saying? We were not in rice patties for 400 years. You understand? It wasn't Asians who came to Puerto Rico and murdered the Tainos and so on and so forth. That's not what I'm talking about. You understand? All I'm saying is, is that y'all are an excellent example of what we should strive for in certain aspects as a people. You know what I'm saying? And, and here's the other thing. Y'all are not oppressors, but this is what I do know. If, if I ask Shiggs, right, if if he ever put a job application in in Chinatown, I know he going to laugh because he ain't do it. None of us do. We can't get businesses in your Asian centers, but y'all come over and establish businesses inside of our neighborhoods and make $20,000 a week selling fried chicken and rice. And fried chicken is not an ancient Chinese dish. Y'all Y'all cater it to the minority palate. Y'all like like y'all have more power here than us. And you understand? And like my people are from this land. You understand? Like, 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 and what but we've been here too, though, brother. What I'm saying, you y'all have weren't here before me. No, I know, but we I mean, I don't know how long you've been here, but the Asian people has been here since the Chinese people has been here since the 1600s, bro. I mean, yo, listen, y'all built the railroad. We know all that, but here, but here's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not knocking y'all for that, but this is what I am saying. Y'all do not let us into y'all community, but you come into our community. So it's not even like y'all are building even even the even the the 
Asian businesses in our neighborhood, I've never seen them give back to the hood. I've even seen instances where black folks get chased out for, for panhandling. I've seen instances where people are 50 cents short and don't get their meal. You know what I'm saying? Like, and meanwhile, y'all are making so much money and you're shaking your head. You agree with me. So what I'm saying is I have no problem. And, and here's something else, too. Even with what you said, the sacrifice that y'all make. I'm just saying that we should be able to have that sacrifice, too. And what I'm saying is the same way y'all have y'all infrastructure. I just want my people to have our own. And it's and, and tired of us. You understand always being on the losing end of it. Right. Uh, uh, did you land, brother? Yeah, I did. Please. All right. Brother, I, I, listen, man. <laughs> Yo, listen, let me tell you something, bro. You Again, again, you cannot take away the sacrifice from the Asian people. Let me ask you a question, right? During, like, I, I, I am in hip hop, right? And I've seen brothers, black brothers, spend millions of dollars in the strip club. They throw hundreds of thousands of dollars in the strip club, bro. Like, like, spend all types of money. It's not like they don't have it. They got the money, but they just not putting it in, in, in where they supposed to put it. So, but the Asian people don't think like that. The Asian people are getting that money. They're not in the strip clubs. You know what I'm saying? They putting it where it's supposed. They putting it back into the community. They 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 doing what they supposed to do. So what I'm saying is, yes, I understand what you're saying, but that's not our fault, bro. It's not our fault. And 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 if if all the brothers that had all this money that got they got however they got the money, if they put it back in the community, then y'all would have a different community. Hey, and so hey. it's not the Asian people fault. How can you blame us for that? Slow down, slow down. I'm not blaming you for anything. All I'm doing is speaking the facts. It's really the white man's fault, like what we talked about earlier. I don't like like when you talked about the system, that's who created the system here. So I'm not blaming you. I'm just speaking the facts about it. And here's the other thing, though. With what comes down, right? Y'all have an ad and, and y'all have an advantage over us. You understand? Y'all have a country you can go back to. You know who's wearing the same jersey. We're a part of a diaspora. I don't have a country I could go to. I can't go back to you. This is my country. What, I, what I'm saying is, if you wanted to, right? Like, like, like your I land. What? Like your your legal last name? I guarantee you isn't a white one. No, my legal last name is a Chinese name. But what I'm right. saying is, I can't but, go back to China. They won't let me go to China right now. I got you. But you see, you see this brother right here. This brother right here, he got a white last name. You see me, my people were conquered by the Spanish, the Spaniards. They conquered the Taino Indians. So we don't have our own place. What I'm saying is even you, even if I take it off you, your people do. And they have their own economy. They have, they're sovereign. You understand? Like meaning, I mean, Asians are colonizing the world right now. Y'all halfway colonized Jamaica. You understand all the different countries inside Africa own the fishing rights to Singapore. I mean, like it's... It's but what great. does that have to do with me, though? Like, just, it doesn't have anything to do with you. But what we're speaking—I I was about, born and raised here, like yeah, right what, in Brooklyn. Is, but what I'm doing is we're speaking about your people because here's the thing: we don't go to strip clubs. What did the strip clubs have to do with us? They didn't have shit to do with us. You know what I'm saying? We don't go to strip clubs. Matter of fact, we tell brothers to stay out the strip clubs. We teach we teach blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians that if we stop loving hoes, our women will stop being them. If we stop going to the strip clubs, these sisters will pick a different career. And what you brought up against our community is an accurate charge. But what I'm saying about your community is true as well. Your community gatekeeps. All I'm saying is allow us to have the same privilege for our culture. Right. I understand that. I get it. But are we talking about hip hop? Are we talking about I'm a guest to hip hop? Is that what we're talking about? I need to mind my business. So so, so here's, here's what I'm saying, right? You are a free man you're allowed to be as opinionated as you want you're allowed to make rap you're allowed to make hip-hop you understand you can be a part of hip-hop all i'm saying is the way i'm a second-class citizen if i go to china you should be a second-class citizen in hip-hop and you should acknowledge you're a guest and you should be humble like one and if you were i could accept that listen man like let me tell you this bro if you, if this, this black man right here, what's this black man, br brother, what's your name? Tazar Yak. What is it? Tazar Yak. Tazar Yak. All right, peace. Chigs, Tazar Yak. If y'all two was to be born and raised in China, like if you grew up in China, if you were born and raised in China and your culture would be what? Chinese. It wouldn't be hip hop. It wouldn't be, right. Your, your culture would be Chinese. And 
<clears throat> what I'm saying is I know black brothers and sisters that are in China, right? And and um, you know, they they're doing fine. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they're second class citizens. You know what I mean? So um, I just don't know. Like I've never been to China, so I can't sit here and tell you what's going on in China. But I could tell you what's going on in Brooklyn. I could tell you what's going on and where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? So now everything that you're saying, I'm not here to uh, like you know say you're wrong or whatever. I just don't know what's going on in China. But from the people, the black people that I've met that are in China or that what came from China that was in China, they say that they didn't have a problem. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what's going on and I can't sit here and accurately uh, argue that. You know what I'm saying? But what I do know is this. Like I said, bro, like we are not the the oppressors. And yes, Yes, I I say this all the time. I tell Chinese people all the time, bro, you can't get money in the hood and not give back to the people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't get you can't have all these stores in the neighborhood and and treat people like, you know, like that. You have to treat people with respect. These are the same people that send your kid that that are helping uh make your business fruitful so you can send your kids to college so they can have a better life you are supposed to try to at least help these people help their kids get a better life that's my message but you have to understand these people come from a whole different place they come from china they come from cambodia they come from wherever they come from right they don't know the culture they don't know the language all they're doing is trying to get money. They come here and they're just trying to get money and they're just trying to build a better life for their kids. You understand what I'm saying? So their culture is a big culture barrier. Like they don't understand anything that they don't understand what you guys go through. They don't understand it. And you guys don't understand what they're going through. And because of the language barrier, there's never no conversation. You know what I'm saying? And because of that non-conversation, because there's no conversation, it's easily to be misunderstood. It's easy to think like, oh, these people just hate us. But in actuality, they might not even really hate y'all. Yeah, yeah, we just, and they might think that you guys hate them. You know what I mean? They might think that black people, my, my aunt might think that all black people hate her because when she first came to America, a black person put up a gun in front of her and robbed her. So, I mean, if 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 she got robbed by a black person and then she goes down the street and then sees something, a crime happen and, and it's with black crime and whatever, she doesn't understand the whole dynamic of what happened in this country with slavery and all of that. And, and that. But her, in her mind, all she sees is this person robbed me. These people keep on doing this. What, what is she going to say? What is she going to think? But there's no conversation to let her know or to have her understand what's actually happening within the within within the whole setting. And there's no conversation for you guys to understand how she thinks and where she come from and why she, you know what I'm saying? So I think if there was just a conversation, they would be more understood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like there just hasn't been a conversation because the language barrier ha and the culture differences hasn't allowed it to have a conversation. But now we're having a conversation because there's people like me, second, first generation that's born here and we can have this conversation i'm not the only one you can have a conversation like this with a bunch of people that was born here that we can have an intelligent conversation and we can have an understanding of why you think the way you think and why we think the way we think and why we can't and let's try to figure out how we can come to an understanding we don't have to like you know we don't have to like be kumbaya and like mesh and, and like, you know, do any, but we can have an understanding to why you guys think how you think and why we think how we think. And this is so important. So uh, again, again, yeah. I appreciate it. I think um, when we was having a conversation, if you actually listen to the audio, it wasn't really about disrespecting you at all. It was mainly showing how we give away our culture. Like what I mean by give our culture, if you look at the history of black people in America, whether it's rock and roll, jazz, the Negro League, uh, our school system, everything that we once had to ourselves, another nation could come and gravitate. And now we want to assimilate with them. True. Whereas Asians wouldn't do that as much as I could be brought up in Asia, as you said, they would never give that culture to me and my people. So what we were doing was using you as the example. So on one end, you're about your people, which you're supposed to do, but you can navigate into black culture, Hispanic culture, white culture. You can navigate into those other forms, 
but you're never going to give away your identity, your ethnicity, the things that are held true to the agents. So all we're simply teaching our people is the only way that we can function the same exact way is to not give our culture, not give our identity, the things that we created. And then now we build ourselves up. We develop the same moral compass that y'all have. We develop the same loyalty to our own as y'all have. So the room, when Wack came in there and he's assuming that it's a derogatory type room, no, you were just a prop where we could say, okay, China says this in one breath, he says this in another breath. He's able to navigate that because he has a sense of loyalty to his people. We should have the same loyalty to our people as we True. navigate. You understand? Just because I go into this, this, this space with these other people don't mean I got to take my identity and give it to him. I understand. You know what I mean? If we say who's the top rappers, for some reason, Eminem gets mentioned, even though he's a guest in the house. How do we put him over all the pioneers and then the current people that are before him? So, but Eminem is a good rapper, just like you could be a great rapper, but you can't be the primary in the house. You would be in the guest section and the guest session could have a nice comfort seat, could have a big screen TV, could have a PS5, could have all the amenities that make you comfortable. But the amenities to the owner of the house would be better. That's all we're saying. And it, and I wouldn't expect it to be any different if I came to your house. That's what we're I get saying. it. I, I fully understand what you're saying. But here's the thing, my brother. What I'm saying is, um, OK, now, if we're talking about like black like businesses, I think that black businesses should be the like the the majority in black communities i feel like i feel like chinese restaurants shouldn't there shouldn't be more chinese restaurants in a black community than black restaurants and black businesses you know what i'm saying so when we're talking about that like businesses and like social ego economic stuff then i 100 agree that you you guys shouldn't let people just let right. anybody in that's what that room was about yesterday right right so you you guys shouldn't just let anybody in like you guys should have control of that and 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 not just let people in but when we're talking about hip-hop my brother when we're talking about the culture of hip-hop you know what I mean? This is something that it's 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 me. You know what I'm saying? Like I was I was brought up around it since a kid. You know what I mean? I was uh I was a part of the uh the five percent nation when I was a kid. They taught me that I was uh they taught me that I was supreme Asiatic. You know what I'm saying? They taught me that there's only two there's only two families on this planet Earth, right? And the Asiatic family, I'm a part of that, right? I was taught that, my brother. You know what I'm saying? So like like like. Like, 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 so, so what I'm saying is, um, I understand these things and social economics. I do think that it should be, you guys shouldn't just let anybody in, but in, if we're talking about culture, you can't tell me what I can take as me if I was brought up around it. And everything that was taught to me was I'm a part of it. I am this. And, and, and that what I was taught was hip hop. It wasn't a, Per se, when I was introduced, it wasn't a black culture, like per se, just black culture. It was against the machine. It was against the oppressors. You know what I'm saying? It was against whoever had us in these situations. You know what I mean? So I felt and I was taught that I was a part of that. You know what I mean? Since a kid, I I, I went to a uh, uh, Mumia like when 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 we went to when when I was a juvenile when I was in juvenile. You know what I mean? The uh the 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 the, the staff that told me that I was black. The staff, one of the staff members told me, you know, you black, right? And then he brought me to Mumia. They they we went to somewhere in Albany and 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 and, and um uh we fought for Mumia for him to come home. Uh 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 I've been around this since I was a kid. So what was taught to me was different than what you're saying. So I'm not saying I'm not here to argue what you think or what you believe, but you can't tell me what I believe and what I think. Is, is wrong, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't I'm think- You can't believe that, because I think like all the things that you mentioned about being black is a beautiful thing. And other nations see it and they want to gravitate to it. And to me, the world would be a better place if they just listen to everything that we said from our morality, the way we're supposed to live and conduct ourselves because there's not a more loving people than blacks, Hispanics and native Indians when they're in the right spirit. The problem is we don't understand what loyalty to that spirit means. You can come in, they can do all those things to it. Just like if I reverse it, if I come into your community and do those things to it and believe I'm Asian or believe I'm Chinese and adopt your culture. But 
I'm not going to be the owner of that. You're always going to be that's that's the I think the only place where we have the difference. Now I could still feel this the same way you feel. I'm not telling you not to feel that way. It was more so about our people learning how to gatekeep like every other culture. And I'll take it off of Asians, for example. If a Jewish man goes and accepts somebody as being Jewish, they still would not be the gatekeepers. The Jewish man would. If you go into Hinduism, it's the same exact thing. So all we trying to teach our people is to learn how to own your things like every other culture owns theirs. So it's not so much about you. It's about how we respond to you, so to speak. So Marty said, um, so Michael Jordan can't be the primary um, since we as a people didn't invent basketball. Okay. And I, that was your comment about how you said China Mac cannot be the primary um, because he's Asian. I, I got you right. Here's the difference, though, right? Basketball is a sport. You understand? It's a game. It's a culture, too, bro. Hold on, hold on real quick, right? So, so, but when it was invented, before it became a part of any culture, it was a game. You understand? Since its inception, hip hop has been a subculture that has been created from a particular group of people. And and now I'm not even trying to be funny with this, right? But th this is like it, this is probably one of the most visual representations I can give you, right? And I once again, I know you're China Mac. You understand? You seen the Last Samurai with Tom Cruise? Yeah. Tom Cruise went over there and he studied the way of the samurai. You understand? And he earned his stripes. They smacked him around with that stick. You understand? And eventually they even put the samurai armor on and he rode in the, into battle. But the vast majority of everyone is not going to look at him as one of them. He's still a guest inside of there. You understand? And that's that's listen, you can grow up in the culture. I have no problem even with you selling those shirts. I am hip hop. But you could not be hip hop. You understand without Cool Herc, you could who is Jamaican. You could you couldn't be hip hop without Crazy Legs and all the other Puerto Rican and Latino break dances and collectively us doing this. So this is not something that you influenced us on. This is something that we influenced you on. And as a result, you got to take low. You understand and what? I'm, and I'm not saying you can't climb. Wait, heights. Oh, who's I'm, to I'm, say? I'm not, who's to say there wasn't no Asian people there? Okay, so so you do, would you be able to just so just like I'm saying, we're talking York. about New York City, right? We're talking about New York City. Well, uh, so so name me a prominent Asian patriarch in the culture from that era. Listen, I don't know, but what I'm saying is what I'm saying. But, but I, what I'm saying, culture. brothers. But listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. And if we're talking about when was hip hop? Uh, uh, when was hip hop? When, when was that? What year was that? So 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 we looking at late sixties, early seventies. All right, late sixties, early seventies. Chinese people were there. I mean, not just Chinese people. You had all types of different Asian people there. You had Filipinos there. You had Cambodians there. You had different people there. So maybe I don't I don't know. Maybe they were right there. They didn't make it. They didn't start making the beast. But what what if they were right there too? What if they, there was an Asian person that was right there? That you know is is that not his culture as well? Like if he grew up around it and was like you know was partaking in it like i, I just don't understand i just think that this is it's a it's a america is a it's a new york like if you're talking about new york you guys are from new york you guys know like it's not it's not segregated like la you know what i'm saying like everybody is like right on top of each other you don't know who's there who's where who was affected by it who was influenced by what everybody is trading everybody is taking pieces and giving pieces like you don't know what's what and at that time everybody was watching kung fu flicks and everybody was doing all that so what i'm saying is you don't know like who participated and who uh and who contributed it you know what i'm saying like especially Yo, in so so so, so listen but but here, here's what we do know right like and this is why i'm asking because we can go to the records like if if, if we want to talk like since we talk in sports who's the best boxer if we want to talk who's the best ball player we got to go to the statistics you understand? We're you, not talking about who's the best, though. We're talking about who's just there, like who's just contributed. What I'm saying is there's a record of evidence. Now, you're saying they were there. What I'm saying is if I turn on Style Wars, which is a graffiti documentary, I don't see not one Asian tagging up those trains. If if I go and I watch Wild Style, if I watch any hip hop documentary about the pioneers, I've never seen an Asian forefather in hip hop. 
All right, bro. I mean, I, we I, I, can we. I mean, listen. We can agree to disagree. You can know, what you I'm saying? On this, we can't. Can, 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 I can't. I can't. Listen, I can't. But I will have okay, to take a look. You. I can't. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, we can agree to disagree, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to take anything from anybody, but I just don't want anybody to take anything from me. You know what I'm saying? If this is this is my, I feel like this is my culture. I feel like I feel like this is uh something that was that I I was raised around, that I was accepted in, and that I accepted it and. And it's something that has been a part of my life since 1987 all the way to now. The only thing that has been a part of my life on a daily besides my mother, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, that has been a part of my life since 1987 all the way to today. And I just feel like, you know, I don't feel like that, 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 that I, I, I don't, you're, you're trying I feel to like that's a part of me. You know what I'm saying? I if feel like it's me. If I could, if I could, right? Yeah, I, I just want you to know, right? You seem like cool peoples. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you, you've been laid back. You know what I'm saying? The whole interview, you've been extremely respectful. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even. I'm not trying to turn up on you or nothing like that. I'm just kicking the facts. And like I said, you can make your raps. You can be a part of the culture. All I'm saying is, we're going to outrank you in that culture as you would in yours. That's all. And I accept it. I don't like. I'm not gonna come to Chinatown and think I'm Bruce Leroy, bro. It ain't gonna work like that. But I just, I just don't think. That you should think you're cool, Herc. I think you should be. I don't think I'm, I don't. I don't think I'm cool, Herc. I don't think I'm cool, Herc. You know what I'm saying? I I I'm, I'm much love to cool, Herc. Like I, I respect that brother so much, but I don't think I'm nothing. I don't think I'm I'm like that. This culture like was started by me. I don't think that I'm greater than anybody. I don't think that you know. I just think that this culture is me too. I'm a part of this culture too. And it's a part of me and I'm a part of it. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm saying. And I just don't. And if anybody try to take that from me, I'm going to fight. I'm going to okay, listen. I'm not going to take it from you, but based off of the fact that you couldn't even name a prominent Asian forefather in hip hop, would you at least admit that you are a guest? I'm not. A, I don't think I'm a guest. Because that, that's because, the only that's the only qualm I have with right. you. I don't I don't think I'm a guest because I feel like I was I mean, I know I was born and raised in New York City and hip hop was New York City. And it, it wasn't like I came from China. It wasn't like I came from Korea. It wasn't like I was born and raised in New York City. It was all around me. It was a part of me. It, it, and it's not like hip hop was made in Africa and we took it from Africa. It was made in New York City, like right so, next door. Like then do you feel we adopted? you are you the adopted child if you're not the guest <coughs> no man i feel like i'm a, i feel like i'm a part of new york city culture bro i'm a part of this culture and i'm just as much as a part of it as anybody else that's how i feel bro well i'm, I'm gonna tell you like this right you can like like i can't accept that and like I said, we can disagree agree to disagree right. and I'm, I'm not, not saying I'm not saying, to accept I'm not saying you're not a part of hip hop I'm not saying you can't do it. All I'm saying is I can't respect anything you do for the culture until you admit that you are a guest. Once you do that, then, yo, China Mac got the, you understand? He cool. Um, uh, listen, I'm not going to accept it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say it. I'm, I, again, it's no disrespect. I'm not trying to, you know, be disrespectful or try to claim something that's mine or whatever or take something. I'm not trying to take anything from the black people. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is I don't feel like I'm a guest. I'm not, I, in my eyes, I was a part of it since I was a kid. I was, I was, it's not like I came from another place. This where I was born and raised is, is where hip hop started. And I feel like I was a part of the culture. If just because of my skin complexion makes me not a part of it is asinine to me. It's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just my kids. It, the only thing that the only reason why you saying that I'm not a part of that, uh, that I'm a visitor is because of my skin complexion is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Have you seen my complexion, bro? We're not talking about complexion. We're talking about race. I don't have a problem with complexion. But, 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 but yeah, but what you're saying is I, I just don't understand it. What does my race have anything to do with me being born and raised around hip hop? I got you. This, this is, this is what it has to do with. What it has to do with is that we believe that hip hop is our art form. And you're a guest and you're trying to make yourself a main citizen. And like I said, I couldn't do that in Chinatown. Y'all gatekeep. But All you I'm could though. Is, you could listen oh, if you if oh, you nah. if listen, if you were born and raised, if you were born and raised in China and 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 uh 
you that's your culture bro and nobody could take that from you bro like how can you be a visitor of somewhere you were born and raised in like i just don't I would, understand I would that be a stranger i would be a round eye i would yeah but I, I but would, no would, but listen if you grew up if, term for me though listen to what i'm foreigner. saying if you grew up and born and raised in china right if you grew up just like you're born and raised in america right you're born and raised in america that's like a white man saying you're not american bro like what are you talking about i was born and raised here bro this is all i know i don't even speak nothing else like how am i not american i'm american you know what i'm saying that's the same thing that's the same logic you're telling me bro and it just but doesn't here, make sense to me but, but and i don't want to keep on chicks I, I honestly like I, I respect what you guys are saying i'm not i don't want to argue it we're just not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna come to a uh it's not gonna go anywhere so i would just like to respect because i don't have all day for this you know what i'm saying I, I would like to respectfully say you know i i, I respect what you guys are saying and i hope you guys respect what i'm saying and we can just have a uh we could just agree to disagree you know what i'm saying and I, i'm not trying to be disrespectful i'm not trying to take anybody's culture i'm not trying to do none of that and i'm not a culture vulture because i uphold the culture if you watch all of my uh, my, my 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 content i've never painted black people in the wrong way i always painted them like my brothers and my sisters you know what i'm saying so you know i uphold it you know and so judge me by my actions not by my my, my race bro hey, hey hey listen bro i i got you right i just want to say two quick things to close out you know what i'm saying unless cap i don't know if you want to say anything as well no sweat but um there's there was a comment before too that somebody brought up the wu-tang clan listen our identity was stripped from us when you take away a man's identity you could replace it with anything it's why we're three six mafia it's why we're uh the wu-tang clan it's it's why we're tone it's why we're Scarface because we don't have our own but y'all do and I commend y'all for it and I'm glad y'all do and I would respect y'all more if you do gatekeep and keep us out and I'm just saying for the same respect we want the same we want to be able to gatekeep what's ours you understand so what like I said bro it ain't nothing personal you know what I'm saying you seem like cool peoples however in our opinion forever and ever and so on and so forth you're going to be a guest to us. And the day you admit that, you'll have my respect. And then um, all I say, like I said, the room wasn't necessary about you in a derogatory way. It was nah, just I don't take it personal, bro. Like, this ain't personal. Yeah, I'm saying, so it was mainly showing how you could be loyal to your people and navigate. And we should be the same. It was right. more so a teaching point for our people so we would use you like we would use anybody uh, I, I respect it man i think that it's good that the uh that that these talks are being had and the black people right. are coming together and starting to unite and starting to like you know and starting to bring power into their 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 communities and and their people i respect it i think that is long overdue and I, I love it you know what i'm saying but i just don't think it should be on the backs of other people bro like you know what i mean like i don't think that it, it's, life, it's, right? I, I don't think that it, it's right to like you know blame like you know a whole group no, of people blame. for something so you said it shouldn't be on the backs of other people it should be on our own backs right uh yeah well no no no, yeah, no, no, no I, I don't i don't i don't want you to yeah no what i'm saying is what i'm saying is i don't think i think it's wrong for for you like you can pick yourself up without bringing anybody else down bro like you don't have to bring anybody else down to pick yourself up you know what i'm saying and i love that you guys are picking yourself up i love it bro for real honestly like i love to see the black people in the position that they are right now they're coming into you you guys are coming into like a uh, 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 a position of power uh, uh, that you guys I've never seen you guys in you know what I'm saying and I love it but you know I'm just saying you don't have to come at it like it doesn't have to you don't have to attack like Asian people for that bro like or anybody else like like because yeah, we're not like I said we're not the gatekeepers bro we're not the ones that we are not the controllers of this country we don't call any shots in this country we don't we're not the we're not we're not the ones that brought the black people here in this country uh we're not the ones that that was hanging black people in this country we weren't the ones that was 
uh, 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 putting drugs in the communities. We weren't the ones that put all the all the black people in prisons since kids and through the whole system. It wasn't the Chinese. It wasn't the Asians, bro. Like, like you know what I mean? And I just, I just think is 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 bad that we try to. It, it seems like a bully tactic. Like, like when you when when you just say, oh, we're blaming everything on you guys. When hey, we didn't do none of this shit. We're not the ones that did all of this. Like, I, like I don't understand where all this heat is coming from. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so now that's why I said, like, if you was to listen to the audio, and I'm not saying you have to, it wasn't even about heat against Asians, like, in a derogatory way. It was more so just about they have a sense of loyalty. That's the one thing we don't have. Now I'm talking about my people. That's the one thing we don't have, that sense of loyalty, of gatekeeping, anything that's ours. It could be, that's why I brought up our education. We didn't gatekeep that. Our businesses, we didn't gatekeep that. We allow everybody to just infiltrate what we created and so the only way we can build ourselves back up is to stop giving it away and we so we would use you as your people as an example we would use africans as an example anybody that does it because now y'all kind of become the learning example when we're teaching it if you was teaching any subject you're going to use something as an example or a litmus test to say look at how they did it or look how they built this and so yesterday you was the example for that. That's all. And I appreciate it. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, listen, man, we, we need this conversation, bro. At the end of the day, like the, these mm-hmm. conversations, I've never seen these conversations as a kid. You know what I'm saying? I never seen mm-hmm. a black man and an Asian man and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a Latino man sit down and have like a conversation about this and how we respect each other. I just, it's just never been done before. So, you know, I'm glad that we able to do this and I'm glad to be a part of it. You know what I mean? Whether y'all agree with what I say or not, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, it's with respect. You know what I'm saying? It's always with respect. And, you know, we, you know, we can agree to disagree, but you know, it's still with respect, brother. All right. That's what's up. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the host bringing us on as well. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. Peace.